everyone, how's it going? My name is Pixelated Fireball, and welcome to Terraria. But not just any Terraria. If you couldn't tell what this uh, Let's Play is going to be about, just take a look at me, looking a little bit pale, almost spectral. That is because this time we are going to be checking out the Spirit Mod. The newly ported, or well, I guess not necessarily newly ported, uh, 1.4 version. I have played this mod before, much like the mod of Redemption, but it has been a while, and there is probably lots of new stuff to be seen, to be sure, so it's gonna be a good time. And I have been excited to check this mod out for a while, so I figured time to sit down and actually do it. Mostly because I haven't even so much as touched this game since the last episode of Mod of Redemption, truthfully. I, I finished that Let's Play, and I was gonna start up another one within the week of, of finishing it, and then I was like, you know what? I don't wanna. I really, really don't wanna. So I've had enough of a uh, Terraria detox that I feel like I could probably play this game again now without wanting to beat my face off the table every time I see a pixelated anything. Like that enchanted apple right there. What is this business going on? This is, this is interesting looking trees. I don't know that I quite remember this, but maybe I do. I remember the sparkly dirt, but I don't remember the trees above it, though it appears as though these trees are normal trees, but there's fancy grass. So we're gonna get going here. Gonna go on an adventure, a spirity adventure, and it's gonna be a good time. We have an enchanted apple, mana regen, life regen, and improvements to all stats. Don't mind if I do. I'm absolutely gonna chow down on all that business. Gonna have another one? What is that? Enchanted starfruit. Oh, nice. Okay. All right, let's get a, a little bit of a look around here, beat some trees, go on an adventure, see what all there is to see around the world here in our brand new world. It's very exciting. Ow. You're disrupting my commentary, you green blob. That's what you get. You got a stabbing and your giblets. I won't be having it. And you, dummy. So we have a living wood wand. Okay, well, that's good, I guess. Put living wood everywhere. Yes, I love living wood. Oh, yes. There we go. Now we're getting going here. Speaking of living wood, perfection. And it looks like I've got safety already. All right, we got our radar. Hang on a second. Let me grab this chest here. We're going to go down. Eh, 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 eh. How do I play this game? It's been so long, I've got to remember how Terraria works. All right, down we go. Yes. All right, boomerang. Yes, that's a good one. We like that. Boomerangs are good things. No finch staff down here, though. Shouldn't be surprised, though. You know, on account of the fact that finch stabs are one in a million. Ah yes, Relogic devs. Why would I ever go and make any part of this game for summoners any kind of easy? All right, we shall carry on. Oh yes, good. A regular living tree right here blocking off the desert, my favorite. It's all right though. I will collect the cactus and I will have great defense. Hey, Vulture, you die. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, okay, it's fine. We're good, we're good, we're good. I can heal. I have potions. I am terrible with accuracy, but I can heal. All right, hang on a second. Hang on a second, you. Die, vulture. And give me loot. You better have loot for me. I guess, I guess that's loot, I suppose. That's right, I forgot. The fun police went and made it so that you can't mine the, the stuff under the thing. That's right, I forgot. Yeah, good job, Relogic. You went and uh, took away the fun. There we go. Dead ant lion. Another one of you. I don't know that I want to tangle with you. Do I have grenades? It'd be nice if I had grenades. I have an iron skin potion to give myself some kind of defense. I have 10 defense already, though. I mean, that's pretty good. Ah! Yeah. 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 There we go. We're good. Look at that beautiful sandy background back there. Oh, yes. Backgrounds are plenty. Oh, and that's the end of the desert. Okay. That's fine, I guess. Um. Guess there's no ant lions there. Oh, wait, never mind. Here's more desert. I was gonna say, just a desert mountain in the middle of nowhere. Ooh, and one of these. It's gonna have the uh it's gonna have the carpet. It is. This is where we get the carpet. Alright. Carpet drop incoming, get ready. We're gonna head inside of that, and we're gonna get ourselves a thing. Maybe I'll turn into a base, honestly. I, I probably should get some kind of safety. As the uh, the background is getting a little bit on the dark side, and that's a little scary. So just in case, we're gonna do this. I'm gonna use my bombs to dig a hole in there, because that is the only way to mine as a Terrarian. If you're not using bombs in the early game, well, then no wonder you feel like the game is slow, because you're doing it wrong. Ah, slime, get out of here. I don't like any of this business. I turned off master mode, by the way, because I derive no joy from getting hit for 
2.5 thirds of my health by bunnies. So, you know, I'm good. Hey, what's that guy? An antlion assassin. Oh, yes, he thinks he's being sneaky, but in fact, I am the sneaky. Oh, God, he's brought friends. He brought a, a Stactus. Oh, God, not a Mario reference. I thought that's what this whole game already was. Okay, come on, it's fine. Stay back, you. Back, you. Yeah, 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 come on, come on, I'm running out of room to hit. It's good, we're good, we're good. It's fine. I am a professional. I can handle this. Come on, all right. We killed the Stactus. Come on, we're breaking it down, we're breaking it down. I'm gonna get murdered by zombies. Die, you Stactus monstrosity. You're all that's left. Are you gonna give me a, uh, a pink flower? Can I have the flower on your head? No. All right, fine. I didn't want that stupid thing anyway. There we go. Hang on a second. I'm gonna take some of the cactus that I've acquired. I can make an acorn cake. That's neat. If you're really hungry, go for it. I'm really not that hungry. Fairy whistle. That's a thing that I can use to do stuff. All right, get rid of that uh, nasty short sword. We don't need that anymore. Cactus pickaxe. We're gonna fix that up. And we're gonna smack him. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna beat him with the cactus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna grab a fairy whistle. There we go. Masterful. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. We have ourselves some protection. And can I make any armor at all whatsoever? I think I can. I should be able to make the whole thing, yes? Yes. All right, we're decked out in our cactus drip. Oh, cactus drip suit here. Very nice. Wooden club. Mm, that's the, uh, that's the bonker. That's right. I forgot about that. Okay. There you go, fairy. Get after him. All right, let's get going here. I'm ready. Get that vulture. Yeah. Yeah, the power of the vulture. Yeah. And dead. All right. Now, let's see. Which side do we think it's on? I'm definitely going to throw down here. I'm going to commit to this side. And I was right. I'm too good at this game. I really am. I don't even need to play it regularly to be better than everybody else. <laughs> that just comes with the uh, the territory. And it's a sandstorm in a bottle. Why would I want to shimmer that into a pharaoh's mask? That's the dumbest thing that I could ever think of doing with that particular item right there. Why on earth would I do that? Okay, now we're gonna go down here. We are gonna see what lies below the depths. Alt underground. Yeah, I've got more pop-ups down there. Once again, the mods will be listed in the description. And then once again, I'll say I'll release a mod pack for you to download so you don't have to do it manually. And I'll forget to ever get around to doing that. So, you know, you've got that to look forward to. Oh, yeah. Nice. We've got ourselves a heart. One episode in and I've already crushed the competition. A gloom blooms over the ocean. A gloom. A glow. Well, I got a glow in ocean. While I'm down here, be a good time to find a desert chest so that I can go ahead and get my uh, stuff and things and such. Yes. Probably. If I can find a chest, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm, I'm getting at. I, I rambled nonsense there, but I did mean something when I said it. My nonsense means something. Oh god, now we're gonna do this. I just want the iron. Yeah. You're not gonna get me, antlion larva. I don't think so. I'm too crafty. Oh, don't do that. I'm not that crafty. Run away. Come on, hit. And cactus. Nope, wrong way. That's the wrong way. There we go. Now get him. Ah. That didn't work at all like I thought it was going to. All right, that's fine, though. That's fine. I should probably be making some platforms here. I don't want to die because I don't want to suffer the wrath of having to go back to the surface at nighttime at the beginning of Terraria. That is not a good time. That's only ever a bad time. So we're going to go this way. And we charge forward. Oh, God. Hey, it's the golfer. It's not really who I thought I was going to see right away, but that's fine. We'll get him. If I can defeat the antlion. Eh, antlion. Eh, these guys are tricky. How about this? No. How about this? Nope. Oh. Almost killed the guy. Come on, we're so close. We're so close. Come on, die. Oh, God, this thing is awful. There we go. Okay, you, next. You're next. All right, we do that. Get some amber. Hello, golfer. Nice to meet you. You have anything of value to sell me? No, of course you don't, because you're the golfer. I mean, who even golfs in this game? Golfing? More like time-wasting. What do I look like, a 60-year-old retiree? Come on, now. I don't want to golf. I want to get killed by giant monsters. Here I am. I never thought I'd be exploring into the desert day one. This is a surprise. A welcome one, of course. But a surprise, nonetheless. Uh! All right, I need to get rid of that thing. Yep. Yep. There we go. I knocked them all out. Let it roll around. And we're good. I got all kinds of fossils. I actually didn't know that you could mine fossils this early on in the game. I thought it was like a, a strictly like late game thing. All right, we're going to use the platforming to my uh, advantage. All right, there we go. We can keep them at bay. Keep them at bay. Come on, little fatty friend. Here. 
You have to make up for me missing. It's the most important part of this process. I suppose I will say that the vast majority of the mods really haven't changed all that much. Everything is more or less the same. So, well, there's a few additions here and there, but of course, just like last time, I'm not going to tell you them all. You can go down into the description and be spoiled on what you might end up seeing, but a lot of what was in the last Let's Play in Mod of Redemption is going to be in this one. So, should be good. It'll be a fun time. You're going you're gonna to enjoy it. Don't even worry about it. And even if you don't enjoy it, I don't care. So, <laughs> this guy right here, he's not enjoying anything. He's getting mad about existence. Oh, God. Yeah, he brought his friends. Yeah, he really is mad, isn't he? Oh, God. Why are you bringing your friends? Why are there so many things? Surprise, I guess. Oh, God. Nighttime. Okay. Hang on. I will go back and get that stuff. You best believe it. I am not leaving that down there for the antlions. Tell you what you think I'm gonna let my gold down there for bugs? Nope. I think so. Get out of here. I don't want you. Get out of here. I'm disappointed in your existence. I can make an enchanted boomerang already. Nice. Now we're super powered. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah. Boom. Old leather. What do you do? You make quest items and armor sets and equipment and such and bows and things. Okay, neat. Best to not dilly dally thinking about equipment. Must go. Run, run, run. Camped dunes. Oh, yes. A little down there. I figured this might be as nice as having the biome pop up up top. So you can see the soundtracks at the bottom on the off chance you can't actually hear what's going on. If you're curious about something, you can just look it up yourself. Then I don't have to fuss with the uh, the music. Sounds good, though. I like it. All right, see if I can get down there fast enough. That's the trick. The trick isn't fighting through the enemies again. The trick is getting back before the enemies respawn. Oh, God. Here we go. Now we're in trouble. The air support is going to kill me. That's what's going to get me. I'm sorry. That is going to kill me. Yeah, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. There's so many things down here. Now, I'm sure there is a very intelligent way to go about dealing with this problem here, but I assure you I have no intention of employing that strategy. Here we go. See, without the air support, these guys aren't that big of a threat. Oh, God. They have they have suppressing fire down there. My God. Stop it. Oh, and Lion Pines. The golfer is dead? Hmm. Boy, I wonder what killed him. It's a mystery. Oh, good, a mandible blade. Probably even better than this, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, even better. Even better. Oh, God, you hear that sound? It's the sound of things coming to bother me. There it goes. You know, I am just trying to find loot down here. You don't need to be so aggressive about it. Maybe I'm just down here looking for friendship, and you guys are ruining all opportunities for peace talks. What this really is here. Tell you what. Yep. 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 Yep, yep, and we're dead. All right, cool. Moving on. I am bereft of torch. This is a problem. Oh, good, don't worry. Somebody's coming to send me back to death. It's all right, I'll move towards the light. I will destroy my only light source for the sake of health. There we go. It's all right, this thing actually does pretty good with light, right? The boomerang is pretty good. Maybe I'll get enough amber out of this. I'll be able to make myself a, a hook already. That'd be pretty good. We're going to make some good progress today. Oh, God, is it more red over there? I see more red. Oh, God, I landed wrong. You know, you guys would be a lot easier to kill if you would stand still. Huh. I wonder how long those desert torches were there in my inventory. Probably way too long, honestly, if you ask anybody else. All right, we're going to scare a bomb here. There we go. How are you? Oh, sand got in the way. It's all good, though. It's all good. I am a professional. There we go. Got him. Excellent. All right, moving on along. All of these desert fossils are useless if I cannot find myself an extractinator. There we go. All right, we'll activate those. Oh, God, I'm about to activate death. About to turn on and get my ass kicked functionality of this game. It's got that built in. Don't worry, it's hard to miss. All right, sand slime. Oh, those guys were friendly. To begin with, anyway. Come on, one house is all I need. One house, and then the loot is mine. Oh, chest. I'll take it. That works, too. Ah, magic conch. Yes. I don't know if the bloom is still going on over there in the ocean, but I will definitely use that should I die again. Did it say it was over? Uh, the, uh, the bloom is still going on, it appears, though, so, I mean, I don't know, maybe we're good. Yep, come on. Can I activate it? Activate, activate, come on. Yeah, yeah, there you go. All right, get that out of the way. See, if a little bit of preparation, and you don't need to fear the desert in the early game, it's fine. Have no fear, ball man is here. I will show you the way. All right, what do we got down here? We have chandelier. I'll put that up. Save you a torch. There you go. Got a bug thing and a potion. What do we got? Another magic conch and encumbering stone. I don't want that at all. 
like a boss. Shall I fight the Eye of Cthulhu now? Is there a way to survive that? I'm a pretty good gamer, but I don't know if I'm quite that good of a gamer. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if we're there yet. Eye of Cthulhu, first episode, possibly. Clickbait thumbnail, maybe? Yeah, absolutely. The first night, Eye of Cthulhu. All right, what do we got going on over here? Absolutely nothing at all. So we're just gonna go around that thing that looks like it wants all the giblets. It doesn't just want my giblets, it just wants any giblets. Then again, down there really isn't all that much more uh, hospitable. So it's fine, I got this, it's fine, I got it. There you go, send the cactus at it. Nice, we're good. Take some tungsten, maybe I can get a set of silver out of this here, that'd be pretty neat. Oh look, I'm gonna get a set of punch in the face by a worm. It's my favorite thing to wear. Oh, banana split. Oh God, I've got food. I've got buffs. Yeah, don't hit that. Don't hit the, the cactus. Don't hit the thing I said to not hit. All right, we've made full asset recovery. Uh, jungle underground? Oh, no, 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 I don't think so. I think that's where we draw the line here, I gotta tell you. We're in the jungle? Is that what's over here, huh? It must be, because that's the music that's playing. Does that mean I'm gonna start having massively increased spawn rates? You know, I'm good, I don't want any part of that. Oh yeah, there it is. It's almost like a perfect straight line cutoff, too. That is bizarre looking. All right, well, uh, I'm gonna teleport on over to the ocean now, because that's where safety's at. Oh. Um. Excuse me, sir, this, this is not the ocean. Pardon. Try again. There we go! Ho ho! Look at that! That is neat! What we got going on here, kelp? Kelp in the background? What do you do? You're just decorative? Oh no, you got- I can make magic! Magic stuff and guns and a hook! I just need a hook and kelp. I need a hook to make a hook. Glowing plants! That is crazy looking. Alright, let's go into the water. Oh, and they float. That is cool. Take some of this stuff with us. Absolutely. I'll do that. We're gonna go swimming. Is that a floating debris? Oh god, packing crate. A logo from a popular fishing company can be seen. Contains different types of fish. Oh, deep ocean. Oh, great. We're going down into the deep, deep dark. Oh, this goes on for a while. Oh, man. It's alright. Oh, we got a chest log with a key. We're about to drown. I don't have any water breath potions, do I? No, I have water walking, but yeah, no, I don't have any water breathing, unfortunately. You think I learned to put my money away? I assure you, I have not, nor will I ever. It's all right, we're gonna go this way, cross the surface of it, and then drop down where I died. It's fine. Driftwood, eh? Look at the water, like, reacting to things. That's kind of cool. Aesthetically pleasing, oh yes. Message in a bottle. Huh, got stuff out here. Someone's a raft mount. Increase fishing power. Oh, that is cool. I like that. Now, you see, I don't need to worry about water walking. That's pretty good. Increased fishing power, eh? Oh, school of fish. Can I kill him? No. All right, right here, maybe? We're going straight down, quick, fast. All right, here we go. We're gonna make it down, no problems, then head home. No problems. Give me my money. Give me my big money. All right, now let's get out of here. All right, we're safe. We're good to go. Well, I suppose I can make myself a luxury hotel to stuff my things in here. My things being NPCs, because I've probably unlocked about 10 of them already just because I'm so good at everything. And I will open the fishing crate here. Raw fish can be eaten. Maybe cook it first? No. Nope, raw fish. All right, let's make a safety box. We're gonna take some of these. We're gonna put them up in the air and it's gonna be beautiful. It's fine. Oh, and of course, the classic. You know I had to keep them in. The mint moon is rising again. This is not a spirit mod thing. One may be faulted for thinking that it is, just based on the look of things. This is from the Enchanted Moons mod. A carryover from the last Let's Play. I was a big fan of it before, so we're gonna do it again. Really only spices up the early game. After a while, it kind of stops being super relevant, so I'm not really that concerned about it being... Progression breaking. Makes no difference to me either way, though. You think I'm here for an engaging challenge? You think I'm trying to play by the mod's rules? I don't think so. Oh, what is that thing? Hello. Hi, how are you? Chest zombie. Why do they call him a chest zombie? Is it because he lifts? Maybe he's got a chest in him. Oh, he had it. He did have a chest in him. Huh. How about that? Arcane necklace. Kind of a mage item. Increase max mana by 20 and enemies drop an extra star. 
just, eh, why not? I don't really have very many accessories on me right now anyway, so why not have a few extra stats? Brisk, yes. Run away a little bit faster now, that's good. Doesn't look like a whole, whole lot of things going on here, though, unfortunately. It appears as though everything is in order. This will be an excellent staging ground for my future occupation of this lovely little world. I suppose I'll just hang out here a little bit more while I got the battle moon going on and potentially get a ring from it that can drop from any enemy during this event, which I think is good for magical power. Yes, more damage, lower cooldowns, that could be handy. I mostly just want more of that musty leather. Get one of those shields would be kind of nice. Well, I may be able to make one right now. How much do I even need to make one of those things? Where are we at here? Oh, did I accidentally put it in there? No wonder. Silly, silly me not paying attention to where I put my stuff. Yes, I could have made some of this stuff to begin with already. So, leather safeguard, which I think I probably need a Tinker's Workshop to make that, don't know. No, I, I just need an anvil and I need blast stone, which I don't know what that is. Naturalist Workshop. A yeah, pardon? I have no idea what that is. Is it maybe made out of wood, perhaps? Naturalist Workbench. Oh, I need enchanted leaves from stuff from over there in the mod biome. Okay, cool. Ain't that just neat? What else we got going on here? Increased melee speed and leather striders. Mmm. I like the sounds of that. Can I make them both? No, I can only make one. Well, I'm definitely making the fist wraps first. Oh, no, I can make this one too. I'll put them all on. Oh, God. I have the whole leather getup. I'll just keep the radar on here in the corner. Now we're good to go. Look at me. I am juiced up and ready for murder. I'm excited. Put a grandfather clock down there because of reasons. And I think we are good. The only thing that would make this better is if I could make a hook. I've got almost enough. I really do. I'm very close. We're close here. I want to go back and I'm going to get me a hook. Oh, don't worry, though. I can maximize speed. Check this out. Yeah. Hi-ho, Silver! Away, Avasti scurvy dogs! Show me your doubloons! Slob your poop deck! Arg, 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 me formula! Ah, oh, well, you know what? I didn't find my amber. All I found was pain. But you know what I do have is the Rod of Dunes. Summon a sand warrior to fight for me. And all I needed for that was some gold and a little bit of sand. So yes. I will use the Rod of Dunes. Look at this little guy. Talk about Enter Sandman. What does he do? Does he is, is he an Avengers level threat? Is he dangerous? Why don't I go to the left? Maybe there's something over there worth killing. Because back that way is just pain and suffering. It's probably just gonna be more pain and suffering this way too, honestly. I, I don't imagine it'll be anything different. Oh yeah. Yeah, no, this is definitely just pain and suffering. Well, I found the briar. What is that? Durian? It's a fruit. What an awful smell. Hey, there's a thing that can die. Oh, wait. Where did he go? Oh, look at him. Look at him go. He's a monster. All right. That's all I needed to see. Back home we go. Briar grass seed. No, I'm good. Oh, God. What is that? Blossom hound. No, I'm just trying to leave here. Life gave me lemons, so I'm running away. All right. That satisfies me. I'd say that I think that's a pretty good spot to uh, call it a day. Make a cactus staff. Uh, I can do that. There we go. Oh, that's kind of neat looking. We'll throw that on there too. Why not? We'll have all the stuff. All the stuff and things. Make all the amazing equipment and weapons and accessories. And we're we good to go for the next episode. Because right now, like I said, I think I am going to call it here. I've got my staging ground. Filled myself up with some accessories already and got some pretty neat looking weapons. So, let's just uh, hop on into this. There we go. Once the squirrels die. So, with all that being said, I think I'm going to call it an episode here, guys. So, thank you guys so much for stopping by and checking me out. I really appreciate it. And as always, whatever it is, wherever you are, day or night, I hope you have a good one of those. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.